Hey y'all. It's late in the evening. I don't know. I don't know what time it's late. I got caught up in making. Well, I went in there to make myself a peanut butter and a marmalade sandwich. See, I got them. Up. I like to make them fold in half, it, but it's easier for me to chomp down on them. And so I was in there and getting my bread and getting the peanut butter out and this and that. And then I, and I, I glanced over that way and I saw a bag of ruffled tater chips. And I got to thinking. I don't know, I just fixed my hubby a little, a little something for his lunch. So, so I, I uh, before I made my sandwich, I went ahead and made a peanut butter sandwich for my husband. And then I took, uh, I opened up that bag of chips, and I took several of them and put them on in between the breads and that peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> I don't know I don't know what that's gonna taste like, but he can tell me about it when he comes back home tomorrow. <laughs> And then we shall see. <laughs> uh. Since, since I ran out of the, them keto apple cider vinegar gummies, I've got my regular appetite coming back. I feel like I've already gained back 10 pounds. I hope not. Ordered some. I ordered some from Amazon. Don't tell nobody. Because I didn't know when I get back over to Walmart. So I thought, well, I'll just order some from Amazon. So that's what I did. Hopefully they'll be coming in the mail anytime, hopefully. I can't hardly believe it that okay, next month will be September already. September, October, November, December, here we are. <laughs> Christmas is looming up. I decided to formulate my own Christmas tree. 
I used a, a woman's tutorial to get started for the tip of the tree. And I didn't like the way she was going to do all these uh, branches that come out. I didn't like that at all. I didn't want to mess with that. So, because it was complicated and it was just a pain in the butt. So, I thought, well, I'm just going to make my own tree. So, I made the cone, which was simple enough. You just add a couple of stitches, you know, two or three stitches every other row, and it, and it you know, bigs up as it goes down. And, and I would skip stitch every other row, I would skip a stitch in between a stitch. I would, uh, so how did I do that? No, I would, um, I don't remember. I can't tell you what I did. And I can't remember. I did, but somehow or other, I managed to skip every other stitch so that I could come back and go into those skip stitches to do fashion down these uh, these little little branches. You see. They're not looking the way I envisioned them to look. <laughs> Nothing ever does. Nothing ever comes out like I want it to. <laughs> it never does. But I guess it'll be all right. <laughs> and it'll stand up by itself because it, it's just, I held two strands of yarn together. I used a... Uh, what do you call it? I used that, uh, it's a Hershner's color. Hershner spruce green. Hershner spruce green here. And, uh, then I used this sparkly metallic Christmas white. And then I just can't see any sparkling on it right now, but it's in there. I can see it from this side. <clears throat> Let me see. You can see any sparkles on that. Well, they're there. I just don't know if you can see them. Can you see? I can see a few of them shining there. There should be some sparkling in them branches. Let's see. Well, I don't. Oh yeah. Okay, I can see it kind of. It's hard to see it for some reason. But anyway, <laughs> I've got I think seven more rows of these I have to put on tomorrow. It is a tedious drag, man, a, te a tedious drag putting these on. <laughs> but once it's done, it'll be, I'll have another pretty little tree to set out at Christmas time and make a snow scenery. Yepers make a snow scenery.
what I would like to do is make a snowman, <clears throat> you know, to sit out there, crochet one, to sit out on the, the display. Oh, it's leaking. A snowman with the, with the trees and all that and snow scene. <clears throat> They are falling apart. But oh my snowman. And I forgot what I was going to say about that. I had an idea for making a snowman. It went right out of my head. I have no idea what it was. Now, I'm going to try to finish off this thing here. I gave her some peanut butter, a small spoon of peanut butter to Mila, she just loved it. I offered some to Lily. She didn't like it. She licked it, tasted it, and then she backed up from it. She didn't want it. Ain't that strange? Because most dogs love peanut butter. I don't know. I try not to give them very much scraps. And just a bite here and there. Literally just one bite. Because I'm feeding them that science diet, dog food. It's real good and healthy for them. <clears throat> and this, these foods, all these processed foods that, that we eat, they ain't good for us or anything else. <laughs> We eat it because we gotta eat something. <clears throat> this uh, marmalade and these bread crumbs have a way of just migrating all over the place here. <laughs> Never noticed that. They just have a way of just getting off over the place. Trying to contain it. My hands are all sticky now. I got some water right here. And get this napkin wet on this side. And then I get the sticky off. I can't get it all off. I don't have any more any more napkins. I don't know why there's so much sticky all over my fingers. lot of sticky. That's why one reason I don't eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches much anymore. I'm tired of the mess. Alright. There's
with that. I've been thinking about going to bed now for about four or five hours. <laughs> I reckon I'll make it in there one of these days. <laughs> I sat and worked on that little Christmas tree there for hours today. It ended up being a lot smaller than, than what I envisioned in my mind. I envisioned I envisioned it coming out about two or three times bigger than it did. Somehow or other, I felt myself used on the size. Oh boy, here lately, that psoriasis has been itching in my feet, tops of my feet, around my ankles. Sometimes between my toes. I'm gonna have to give Lily just more dog food before we go to bed. Yeah. I like all that sparkling in that tree. <clears throat> in real life, I can see it sparkling all through there, all through it. It's pretty nice. Ouch. I'm thinking about making one, making it stiff like that, you know, <clears throat> hold two strands together and uh, <clears throat> even show a few holes, a little like uh, skip a stitch here and there and leave little holes in it here and there all throughout the tree. Not too many, <clears throat> not too few. But throughout the tree, you know, kind of evenly spaced if you can. And that way you could set a, a tea light candle underneath them, but one of them uh, elect, electric ones, battery operated ones, of course, not a flat real flame, but uh, battery operated and put under there. And light it up from the inside, or you could uh, get uh, one of those little bitty miniature strings of colored lights. They sell at Dollar Tree every year. Christmas lights for little mini miniature trees. Get them for a dollar, probably dollar twenty-five now. But put that all oh, and put underneath them. <laughs> Those colored lights and the stuff from shining from inside the tree, y'all. Man, oh, it would be so pretty. I've got some plain old fairy lights. That, that, of course, you can put here and there. And, uh, plain old fairy lights. But you can get them colored ones at the Dollar Tree and probably at Walmart, maybe some of the other Dollar Tree stores. But uh, it's fun. It's it's really fun, exciting to be <coughs> working on making a a little winter scene to 
to put up there on that top of that shelf right up there. I'll take them dolls right down from there and make room and I'll put put a, a winter Christmas scene up there with the Christmas trees and whatever else uh, Christmas ornaments set. That would look good up there. And it'll be fun. And we'll have the lights in them and around them and on them and whatnot. Oh, it'll be nice. If we're still here. If God don't take us out of this world before Christmas. We'll see. I had to water my, our ivy plant in there in the kitchen today. I need to check this one. <clears throat> I watered this one a few days ago, but I what I do is I just move, kind of move the planter that it's in. And if it's real lightweight, well, you know, obvious, well, shoot, it's bone dry because water has a lot of weight to it. And if it's bone dry, it's just going to be super lightweight. So <clears throat> I don't I don't wait till they get too dry. You know, well, it feels like it's getting pretty much there. It's getting real close to that there. I'll water them again. I, I, I want to be careful not to overwater because I've, I've always been bad about overwatering houseplants because I'm paranoid about them drying out real quick and thirsting and dying and I want them to thrive yeah I'm, I'm not some things I can plant and grow and do just fine with and then the other things I just don't have no luck with it much at all and my dad and my brother, Judd, um, maybe my oldest brother too, I don't know, can't remember, but they all have, have green thumbs real good. Now quit. They all could just grow anything in the world, anytime, anywhere. Just put it in the ground and water it and go on and there it is. <clears throat> I, I haven't had that kind of luck. I've always worry warded over them. <laughs> worry ward over them. Well, I'll have my work cut out for me tomorrow. So when there's seven more rows of these things on here. However, the, the rows increase as you go down, see. Look at there. There's your tunnel. If that was a hollow log, you could sleep in it in the <coughs> at night in the forest. <laughs> if it's raining, you climb up inside of a hollow log. You better hope there ain't no other critters in there. <laughs> That's it, y'all. I'm going to shut her down now, and I'm going to go to bed. And I'll talk to y'all later.